For this project, you will be creating a geometric drawing split into shapes and filling that drawing with patterns called zentangles. A zentangle is a way of drawing patterns and making them look like the patterns are overlapping and relaxing as you are doing these drawings of repeated lines and shapes. When you are ready to begin your drawing, go to Google Images and type in the name of the thing that you would like to draw and add the word geometric to it. Also, if you wanted to be more specific, like I wanted to make a tiger face, I typed in geometric tiger face. Um, if you use the word simple or black and white, that can also help narrow down your search and find a simplified line drawing of whatever you would like to do. Then save that image to your photos and begin drawing in pencil your image that you are going to later on fill with zentangles. As you begin to draw, notice how I am not looking to make a realistic picture but more of a geometric one where I'm using a lot of straight lines. You're welcome to use a ruler. I do not in my example. I kind of just use straight lines freehand, but if you prefer to use a ruler to draw, you sure can. So keep your line super simple, a lot of straight edges and corners as you draw the outline. You want this outline of whatever you are making to fill your paper and really take up almost all of the space. So make sure you're drawing nice and big. That way you have plenty of room for all of your patterns. When you are done outlining in pencil, um, start to go over all of your lines with a thick sharpie and also decide what shapes you might want to fill in with just black. So I'm going to kind of choose some shapes here that I think will look good filled in with black and not patterns. You are welcome to leave some of your shapes filled in with black or even just blank white. Um, just decide where they will be and kind of think about balancing out your artwork as you decide those things. Once you have finished outlining all of your pencil lines with a thicker sharpie and filling some things in with black, then you need to use what you learned in the video and the worksheet that you did um, to begin to fill this with zentangles. Um, think about the different techniques and things that you did in your video, look at all the different sheets, and start to decide what patterns might look best on different parts of your drawing. So I kind of thought about the texture of a tiger and where I would want to show various patterns um, that were darker or lighter depending on how close my lines were together and then I even split up some of my shapes even more uh, with my ruler as you can see as I started to draw. So you might make more decisions about your geometric shapes on your drawing as you begin to fill zentangles in on your drawing. Um, make sure that you're using, zentangles are meant to be a little bit smaller, not really, really big patterns. So make sure your patterns are small enough and you're also working on using um, all three materials, your skinny sharpie, your thicker sharpie, as well as your pencil to do some shading. And you may start out thinking that you're going to do an aura like you see here where I'm rotating around a central point and you use your skinny sharpie. And then as you keep going, you think, oh, to this pattern, what can I add to make it kind of pop out and look tangled? So then you start to maybe shade it in with your pencil in every other line to kind of make that pattern pop out more. So you don't always have to have a plan, but always kind of think about how can I make this look like more of a tangled pattern rather than just lines and shapes. While you are doing this, you are welcome to watch the Zentangle pattern videos that I have for you on the playlist on your iPad that also kind of have just calming music that can help you zone in and relax and feel that sense of zen as you repeat those lines and patterns. Um, and just keep trucking along and filling in each shape um, with patterns and remembering that it's good to leave some white space, it's good to fill some things in with black, to make sure that you're using all different materials and just having a lot of fun and trying new things with the patterns. 
know that you can never make a wrong Zen tangle. You can't mess up as long as you're taking your time and you're concentrated. Um, there's no wrong way to make a Zen tangle. So good luck um, in your Zen tangle drawings that you are working on.